everyone. Thank you for coming back to another video. We were gonna, we are going to continue talking about kimono that we wear for various types of performances. The previous video we discussed kurucho and hachimachi. Kurucho was the black kimono and hachimachi was the hat. And with that kimono, you also wore the really large obi called ufu obi. That kimono was worn while performing up at Shiri. Uh, in front of the king. Today's kimono is very different. Uh, this kimono is made out of kasuri, which is a special woven fabric uh, that is particular to Okinawa. Uh, if you can see, there are different types of um, designs uh, and each design has meanings. For instance, this design over here, you can see some wavy lines and this actually means like the current in the ocean or the current on a river. Um, we also have some squares here, which could possibly mean like the design of a wall. Um, there are different types of kasuri depending upon the materials that it's made out of. And of course, uh, the different meanings uh, sometimes denote what the kimono is worn for. Uh, this kimono is made by the common folk and it was worn by the common folk. And therefore, the kinds of songs that we sing while wearing this kimono are is minyo, or the folk songs. Uh, if you notice, the particular way I'm wearing this kimono is very unusual. There's no obi. There's no obi. It's tucked in uh, to the, it's tucked in so that the kimono is kept closed um, by tucking in the, the edges. With the ties by the ties underneath and this particular wear uh, way of wearing kimono is very unique to okinawa uh, it's called ushinchi ushinchi and you tuck it underneath the ties that are underneath the kimono um, i think ushinchi is the only way of wearing kimono in japan that does not require an obi other parts of Japan all have obi. This particular ushinchi method does not use obi. Obi is used in Okinawa, but this is the summer style of wearing kimono for women. And the reason why we don't wear um, obi for this particular style is because uh, if you notice, it's very blousey. The back part is very poofy. And you know when the wind blows during the summer, the wind goes through the sleeves and it, the cool air fills the kimono and this is a very refreshing way to wear kimono for women. So this is ushinchi, which does not require a obi. Uh, my hair, unfortunately, is not done in any special way, but the appropriate headdress or head, excuse me, the whole appropriate hairstyle for this kind of kimono would be karaji which is the female wear way of dressing your hair with the bun on top. Um, so this, again, this particular style of kimono dressing is for folk music or minyo. So that being the case, I am going to sing today a song called Yutakabushi. Yutakabushi was written by Nobori Kawaseijin Sensei, who was a very well-known singer and a very well-known um, teacher Unfortunately, he's passed away. He's no longer with us, but uh, he was a rather prolific songwriter. And Yutakabushi is one of his most favorite songs. Yutakabushi.